Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here the brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Sean video today. Thank you to go out to see this game out to see things on sale. Uh, today though, new release wise, the main big thing coming out is a Top Gun Maverick. I know with that one, there's a number of different, you know, exclusive editions of that one. I believe I saw for sure though, a Steelbook at Best Buy. And I think there was something at, there might've been something at Walmart as well for that one. I'm not 100% certain, but I believe there was a couple different exclusives uh, for that one. Also though, today there's a number of other films coming to 4K for the first time. I saw stuff like, um, was it Christmas Story? Um, yeah, Christmas Story, and I think Nash Lampoon's Christmas Vacation were coming out to 4K. And I believe, and as long as I'm totally, as as I'm totally wrong, I believe they're for the very first time uh, coming to 4K. Uh, and then other than that, I think there's a couple other things as well coming out today. Also, though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, blurry, and 4K reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video as well. And as always, too, let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, blurries, and 4Ks that I reviewed. If you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and. See See what we can find today. Into Target we go. And well, guys, now I mentioned this last week, how like it would, you know, the, this they changed this over. It was originally the movies here, and then they, you know, the white thing here with all the movies, it was lit up. And then the movies were switched to here. So last Tuesday, all the movies were here, but I was mentioning how some locations had books in this spot. So now it looks like the front of Targets now are all gonna have books. So this one switched over to books as well. So I don't know if there's any of them are gonna have, you know, any, um, movies in the front anymore so yeah because I, I thought that's what was going to happen you know because i saw one of the other locations switch to this kind of shelf as well so yeah no more movies in the front i guess but we're head over to the actual section now so now i don't even need to check the front anymore i feel like i'm just going to still do it because i for old time's sake just like show the front but it's, there's nothing to show anymore just just the books but we're head over to the section though and fingers crossed hopefully some stuff is put out over there though we shall see though this location is always sort of hit or miss when it comes to having stuff out it's like some tuesdays they do a lot of tuesdays they don't so we shall see though like from right now i'm seeing a bunch of stuff out here on the shelf but we'll see though yeah well just like that already out of the um the section in there and absolutely nothing new in the section whatsoever they didn't put anything there i don't know what it is with this location and like not switching things out because i think it was last tuesday as well they didn't switch things out and it's been like that a while but we're gonna head over to the walmart over here and that walmart lately has kind of been like the target it's kind of like been like doing the same thing with like not putting the things out, you know putting the stuff out but We'll see though, hopefully this location does. I don't think I'm gonna end up going to another Target though, cause there's not, there's not that much stuff to show. There might be exclusive though for Top Gun though. So if there was though, let me know in the comments below though guys, if there was anything exclusive for Top Gun Maverick though at Target. Cause I don't think I'm gonna go to the other one cause the traffic is so intense going that other way to get to it. So I don't think so though, but we'll head to the um, Walmart now and hopefully this one though at least has some of the stuff out. But like I said, we will go to a secondary Walmart though. So either way, we'll at least see something there. Into Walmart we go. I've not peeked yet at the movie, so we're gonna head over and hopefully all the stuff is there. I'm sort of seeing, oh uh, yeah, I'm seeing some of the stuff. It's very empty, but I'm seeing the new things or the main new or the new one that was today. A Top Gun Maverick. So they have the um, 4K for $29.96, the Blu-ray for $24.96, and then the DVD for $24.90. Oh, sorry, the DVD for, for $19.96. And then there's a two-movie collection here. Was this the... Yeah, the two-movie collection has both the movies on 4K... No, for, on Blu-ray for $34.99. I think there might be a 4K version as well of the two movies. I think I might have saw a picture of that one online. Let's see, though. Any of these other empty ones? I think these were all from the past couple weeks. Over here, though, I guess they're going to switch these over, yeah, to Hall to uh, Christmas movies now. So you can see what they are, what they're going to be like. So the Santa Claus, Home Alone, all those like Christmas collections, Christmas Story. Let's take a look though, over here, and see anything else in here. Not seeing anything new mixed in here. Usually in this vicinity is where they would kind of have some other random stuff. Uh, that Blades of um, Ronin, that one was last Tuesday. Let's see up in this spot. I don't see anything else new here. There's some empty things here. Let's see. What was that? Fantastic Beasts. Those were old. Is that Barbarians? That's like a different bar. That's another Barbarians. But I did watch that movie Barbarian. That was great, though. If you guys haven't had a chance to, though, it's on HBO Max and it's on... Um, 
all the streaming stuff now, but Barbarian was great, though. Highly, highly recommended. Probably one of the most interesting uh, movies I've seen in a long time. And when it comes to that Barbarian's uh, movie, too, the one thing that really got to me, too, was, like, the cinematography. It had, there was a shot in there when the main character first enters the house. And they did this amazing technique when they pulled back the camera and kind of almost like you saw her character getting pulled, like she was trying to, try, not kind of almost like not to go into the house. It was a technique I had never seen done and was amazing, especially some of the other techniques in that movie too that they were doing with the, um, when you, I don't want to ruin the stuff, but a back in time segment, stuff like that too. I don't know, really, 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 really good. Like definitely one of the best uh, movies in a long time. So really, really liked uh, Barbarian. I, yes, but we're just gonna go now though to the um, other Walmart though, and hopefully that one though will have some other stuff out because I feel like there would be other things besides just the um, Top Gun though. And I'm spotting something very rare right now. I cannot believe I'm finding this enormous thing. This is huge, that enormous Bigfoot. I know a lot of you guys follow these things, but these are impossible to find. These ones, especially these Bigfoot ones, but this one is so huge. But these things are like, oh, there's a shark one, too. Gordon the shark. <laughs> oh, no, Shannon. There's like, oh, they have different characters. But, yeah, there's a bunch of the um, Bigfoot ones in here. They obviously just put these out, you know, for Christmas because they're switching over right now. So that's cool. These enormous Benny the Bigfoot. I know they have a number of different sizes of these. The thing with these uh, Squishmallow things is it's so interesting because is all these different versions of them. So like you go to certain stores and they have different sizes, like markets have different sizes of them and stuff like that. Like they, they have like this one as a little teeny clip you wear like at, at Walgreens and stuff. I think I can know entirely too much about the, <laughs> these Squishmallows. I, I definitely know that. Into Best Buy we go. And yes, I know I'm going to Best Buy way out of order because I normally would go to Target and then Walmart, then the second Walmart, and then Best Buy at the end. So this is usually the last stop, but there's terrible, terrible traffic. Like, so bad. Like, my dad was on the, in the other car, and he was saying, oh, it's so bad, that direction. So I'm gonna have to go the back way to get to that other Walmart. So I'm, like, going here first. And so I'm, like, I'm basically, I'm, like, gonna go to the other Walmart and then head home and not, like, head back through all this stuff and have to just go home back, you know, come back home the back way as well because it's so bad both directions. It's like, ugh. It's like, I don't know what it is today. It's just very crazy traffic. But, you know, hopefully they have some stuff out in here. And we'll see, though, what they have in here Top Gun-wise, if they have any of the, um, the steelbooks left for that one. Because I'm pretty sure it's an exclusive to Best Buy. I know sometimes with Paramount, the um, steelbooks are kind of like ones you can get everywhere. But I'm pr pretty certain, though, this particular one is a Best Buy exclusive. But we shall see, though. So we'll take a look over here and see, though, what they have. Oh, I do see some of these new ones, though, that I was mentioning. The, um, the brand new uh, 4Ks for the first time of A Christmas Story here. And I should be getting copies of these ones uh, to review soon, I believe. And then that one's $24.99. And then the, um, you know, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This is one, though, I've watched. Like, when it comes to the Christmas movies, I feel like... I think I'm, it's kind of a tie between this one and Christmas with the Cranks. For some reason, like, those are the ones that I watch the most and then probably Jingle All the Way. I don't know what it is with Christmas with the Cranks, so, like, for some reason, like, I really like that movie. Like, I, when I, it's very hard to put these back, but when I think of, like, Christmas films, like, that's, like, one of those ones that I always think of as, like, one of my secret favorite ones. Let's see. There are some steelbooks here for No Time to Die and Inglorious Bastards. I don't know if these were, like, re-release ones for these. Maybe, or they were from, like, a while back and came back out again because uh, I go yeah I see a couple other ones I see uh the Batman steelbook which I think might be a re-release is I don't know this might be a re-release for this one I'm not sure and then they have Elf here uh, for four on 4k for the first time that one's a 24.99 for that one here as well Elf's another one I watch that one a lot but not as much though as some of the others let's see over here anything else they do have um I saw this was releasing today Sharknado the complete collection and this one's gonna be 21 uh, 99 for that one on there and then other than that though i'm seeing what else is in here i i see no no you did last summer that was a couple weeks back yeah i don't see anything else new here uh jordan peele one that was last week the, oh the top gun wait a minute the top gun maverick where the hell is top gun maverick yeah all the spots of it are here the both of them it's not on the shelf so I don't know if it's sold out because it might have sold out because it's, you know, it's in San Diego film, you know, because it's all very, very San Diego film. So I don't know, especially the first movie, too. So it might be just be gone. That might be why. But 
We'll see though at the um, other, oh no, we won't see that. There's no other um, t uh, Best Buy, but we'll see though at Walmart though, if they have anything. But yeah, I didn't didn't get to see any of the exclusives for that one. We'll see though if there's anything exclusive though at the other, um, maybe they have a Walmart one that the other one didn't have though. We shall see though. But yeah, that was crazy though, not having the Top Gun Maverick in there at all. So I'm really wondering if it's just totally sold out in there because it's the same, I guess it is the San Diego connection and everything because it's so San Diego based, I don't know. But we shall see though if they have, you know, what they have at the other Walmart though. I wish there was another Best Buy I could go to so I could see, you know, the exclusives and stuff, but there isn't. And like I said, the traffic is just intense right now, but maybe I'll see it next Tuesday and maybe there'll be some left and everything though. But let me know though, if your location had, you know, the Maverick when you went if, or if it was sold out really fast as well. But we're gonna head, like I said, head now to the other Walmart. Into the second Walmart we go. And I want to show you guys as well. It's really funny. It's like this Walmart as well unleashed the Squishmallows. It's like they all seem to today collectively put them all out. But these ones are all outside, you know, out in this kind of outside area. And it's like really weird, random things over here. Like if you look, it's almost like right there is like future Black Friday things. Yeah, yeah, that's like future Black Friday stuff right there. So it's like it's like everything's out here. Future Black Friday stuff, future Black Friday movies. But like it's just funny to see these ones. But I always like this character, the. Um, um, the shark character because it reminds me of because like in Amityville Shark House I play a character that turns into a crazy killer shark so like he's like warps into one so I, I kind of like this character just for that reason but yeah they have the the Bigfoot ones here as well so yeah it's just funny seeing all these ones out today they had this other one I don't think they had there too of this uh, cactus one but it's funny that's like all the Black Friday stuff out already over there. That's really weird. That was like a really strange, sneaky spoiler we just saw of the stuff. Those are like the movies. I don't think anyone's seen that those anywhere, at least as far as I know. I know so this Walmart though is like the king of boxes today. There is like boxes everywhere. Like literally like literally everywhere. Things are like almost falling over. Look at these things like stacked on top of each other in here today. But, but yeah, we're gonna head over to the movies though and hopefully they have the different stuff out here. Cause like I said, the other one only had that top gun and that was it. So I know there's definitely a couple other things out today. So hopefully they have something else over here. Let's see though in the very front though, it looks like it's stocked up right here. So I am seeing all the Top Guns. They have Top Gun right here, you know, the 4K, the Blu-ray, and then the DVD, and then the two-pack one. So I don't, I don't see a two-pack 4K. So I don't know if there is that anywhere though. And then other than that though, it seems to be all, this stuff is all old, uh, you know, from, the, from last Tuesday. This section over here though, they only have one thing in here, the Hallmark Collection. They're gonna be changing this out to all the Christmas, you know, holiday films. Over here though, nothing new in this vicinity. Let's take a look though over here. This one here is definitely new. This one, Ru Rubicon. I don't know anything whatsoever about this one. It's, if any of you guys have seen this one though, let me know how this one was and it was in this one here called the Stagecoach. And then other than that though, I see yeah, another one of the Rubicon ones. But yeah, nothing else new over here. That Bitcoin was a couple weeks back. Sometimes in this spot, there's a couple new things using the top. Let's see. Yeah, nothing new here. And then nothing else new over here as well. So yeah, it seems like really the only major thing over here though really was, um, let me just check again, just in case down on the bottom, sometimes I overlook something. Trader Within, I think that was a couple weeks back. Tooth Fairy was a couple weeks back. Maybe this maybe was today, perhaps. I don't remember seeing this, but I don't know. This could be really old though uh, for this one. But like I said, other than that though, I really don't see anything else different here. The main, like I'm saying, the main big thing is the uh, Top Gun uh, Maverick one here though. But yeah, though, we're really shaking things up, though, and ending this video outside of Walmart. It's, you know, always outside of Best Buy, but, you know, since we changed the order of things today. But yeah, it wasn't very monumental that, you know, today, um, you know, DVD, Blu-ray, Tuesday shopping, really, because the stores, it was like, you know, the stuff not being out in Target, and then Best Buy not having the Top Gun Maverick at all. So I don't know if it's sold out or what happened with that. So yeah, not super monumental. But let me know, though, in the comments below, guys, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K, if you guys ended up going out today. Also, let me know anything new that you guys are watching theaters lately, or anything new that you guys to watch on streaming as well but also now too uh, stay tuned for the brand new dvd blurry and 4k reviews and definitely let me know what you guys thought of those ones as well but anyway though guys thanks again for watching subscribing now stay tuned for the reviews
And the first one I got here is from Lionsgate. This is also from A24. This is one that I give a top recommendation to. Absolutely love this movie. And this is also the Walmart exclusive uh, slipcover version for the movie as well. This is the film Pearl. And this is directed by Ty West. And this is the prequel to the film X. Now, if you've not seen X before, it doesn't matter. This movie is like a totally standalone movie. But it's basically the char uh, character of Pearl who you see is the old, who is the old woman in X. And basically this is kind of her living on the farm, you know, this on a family farm with her father who's like, you know, really sick and he's in a wheelchair and then she's, she's like taking care of, of him and then the mother and the mother is kind of like really controlling and giving her all kinds of grief about things. It's essentially kind of watching her character slowly crack up and start going crazy and kind of what goes on on the farm. It's, I absolutely love the movie. The one thing that was really cool about it too was you know, he, Ty West really was trying to give this this really, like, different look, kind of like the Wizard of Oz Technicolor kind of look, because it was done with those, you know, high saturation, you know, super colorful. I have not seen a movie in so long where they were boosting the colors so much, and I really liked the look, because I, I, I was watching the behind the scenes on here. They were talking about how they wanted to make it in, originally in black and white, and then the studio was like, no, no, no not black and white. It's a lot, always like, I've noticed that there's always like a lot of kickback for black and white. I, I know that, I'm sure that's what happened with the monsters monsters I, I feel like that i really do but i honestly though it was a good decision for this one to be in technicolor color i think that it really works it gives it a really different kind of look it adds to the the the, the craziness of this movie I will commend to uh, Mia Goth's performance on here. She was, you know, she was really amazing in X, but even stronger performance in this one. And to me, this is a movie that I feel like needs to be studied next to Sling Blade for long form scenes that go for like five or six minutes without any cuts away from the actor. I, there's very few movies where they can do it that good. Sling Blade, the scene when he was in the mental hospital, is kind of telling his story. The one in here, which he's telling the one, talking to the one character, and then I also like too this one thing that they did at the end. Like I don't know, it's it's really really good. Uh, high top recommendation, uh, absolutely a must watch, guys. It has on here though, uh, making a feature, a couple different featurettes on here. Uh, you know, kind of talking about how the story was created and stuff like that as well. Also has on here the teaser trailer and the theatrical trailer as well on this one. The next one here, this is from Lionsgate as well. This one here called Devil's Workshop. This one has um you know uh, Neil Hirsch is in the movie. This is basically about a guy who's an actor who really wants to get this role of playing like a demon, demonologist in this film. He's kind of like, you know, he's like up for the part. It looks like it's going to work out. But it's kind of like he has kind of competition between him and one other actor. So basically, he kind of gets to the idea where he wants to really get method with the role and kind of wants to really research, you know, demonologists and kind of see what it's like. So he ends up contacting this woman who's a demonologist and basically... She ends up talk he ends up talking to her and kind of it's about essentially what ends up happening and things kind of get crazy as it goes along. Very, very creepy film. Anytime you kind of deal with like demon stuff and things along those lines, you know things never go well. But like I said, this one here is called Devil's Workshop. The other one here, this is a really sad movie, but really, you know, it kind it kind of was like um with a monkey in the movie. It was a little bit like within Monkey Shines a little bit. And it's a movie here called uh, Gigi and Nate. This is basically though about a guy who ends up being a man who ends up being in a wheelchair and he's paralyzed. And essentially though, kind of like his family doesn't know kind of what they're going to do to kind of help him kind of have more independence and stuff like that. He's kind of very, you know, not very, he's kind of depressed and things like that. So essentially he ends up getting this helping monkey. It kind of, like I said, very similar to, you know, um, you know, monkey shines with a monkey. Because of course in monkey shines, it was like about a bad monkey and the monkey got jealous and there's all sorts of problems. So it's not like that. But I don't think I've seen a movie though about like a companion monkey since that, at least as far as I can think of. I mean, there's been movies about monkeys like doing things like monkey trouble and stuff like that, but not like a companion monkey, but it's a really, really feel good movie. Uh, very sad though, but really, really well made movie. Like I said, this one is called Gigi and Nate. And this one has on here a photo gallery and a theatrical trailer. The other one here is from Lionsgate. It's a movie here called Dig. This is basically, uh, this stars Thomas Jane and Mill Hirsch is in this one here as well. And this is basically, though, about Thomas Jane's character. And it kind of deals with what had happened to his his family, to his, his wife. And his daughter had an accident and now has, like, hearing loss and things like that from it. And basically, though, it's kind of like he's trying to kind of fix his life and kind of reset and everything. And the house that they're living in, basically, though, uh, Emile Hirsch's character and this other person end up kind of breaking into the house and saying that there's, like, something underneath of it. And they're kind of there trying to dig, kind of trying to get, like, this money or something that's underneath of the house. So it's kind of, there was another movie like that. I was thinking of like, um, 
I think Johnny Knox was in it and Sky Free Era. I can't remember what it was called, but it was a couple years back when they were like digging for something in a house. I don't know. I always think of like stuff like that. But basically, though, they were in there trying to get this and it becomes this whole nightmare situation. Really well acted movie here. This one has on here, though, a commentary track on here with the director as well as uh, Thomas Jane on this one. Uh, the next one here, this was an interesting movie, and I, I feel like some of the people in here might be real, like, people that, you know, jump out of planes and stuff like that. They, they, it was very creepy, though, this concept. And I, I, I definitely have, like, a thing about heights, so, and so, like, this was really freaking me out. I was thinking, like, if I was, like, asked to direct this movie, I never would be able to do this. Like, this, there's certain things I could never do, like that, and then, like, something where you were out in the ocean the whole time, and, like swimming around the ocean I, don't, I couldn't do it because of the sharks and stuff there's like, so certain things i couldn't do or handle lots of spiders but it's a movie here called a uh, hex if a spiders it'd be all digital at least for me but this movie here called hex and it's basically though about it's it's a weird concept i won't lie but it's about people that are all like jumping out of airplanes and like you know um doing these like formations and stuff like that and there's apparently like there's this weird one where it's like six people together doing these if they do this formation called the hex it's like this real complicated one and they want to document and film it and of course they go and do it and then and then like one of the people like just vanishes like all of a sudden it's just like this vanishes from thin air, thin air and they're all like whoa what what happened did did they fall did they fall? Did, uh, where did he go? It was like, this is sort of weird. It's like, no, he did not fall. He just vanished. You saw it. was like, it's, just vanished somewhere like Star Trek. It was like, you know, yeah, I, I don't know. But basically, though, from there, weird sort of things start to happen when the one person goes missing. It's an interesting kind of movie here. Like I said, this one here is called A uh, Hex. Uh, the other one here uh, is from Universal, and this is one I wanted the guys know was available. This is a 4K Ultra HD edition here, which includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital copy. And this is the um, Rankin and Bass uh, collection here, the um, the classic Christmas specials collection. This has three holiday uh, specials on this one. So this one has Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, uh, Frosty the Snowman, and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I feel like the one that everyone's seen the most is, you know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. These are ones, too, I remember, like, as a, as a little kid, I would watch these, like, these, you know, ones every single year these the um the claymate what was the other one the california raisins there are certain ones that i would always watch again and again and again and these were definitely those ones the other one here is it's from um universal is the um brand new 4k ultra hd edition which includes the 4k the blu-ray and the digital copy of uh, to kill a mockingbird and i will say with this movie am i the only person that for some reason and i don't know what my problem is is that like, when i think of this movie i always think of the burbs and it's like, maybe it's because it was shot in the same spot. But for some reason, in my crazy, peculiar brain, it, it was, even as a kid, I always like, and like, it was like, I had this weird convincement thing where I was so convinced that Boo Radley lived in the house from the Burbs. You know, like that the weird neighbors, like the bad neighbors and stuff like that, they were messing around the house. Like, <laughs> I was always convinced that Boo Radley was part of that house. I don't know why. I don't know why I was thinking of that. So like, anytime, every time I watch this movie, I feel like I always just like pay attention to like the Boo Radley character more than anything in the whole movie and like get obsessed with that weird character because like I don't know why I'm bringing this up but it's because a kid there was a guy that looked like him that I used to see at the um, and he looked exactly I mean like a dead ringer for the guy the actor in the movie that worked at the um, A and W and I used to always go as a kid and get the um, honey mustard that they he homemade. <laughs> I don't know. Just some of those weird things that when I think of this, I always think of that guy, you know, that guy, and I think of um, the Burbs. I do not know why. But this one has on here, though, um, feature-wise, it has a Kill a Mockingbird point of view. I uh, dive deep in the impact of Kill a Mockingbird on here, looking back at the film. also has commentary tracks on here as well. A bunch of different featurettes on the film as well on this one. Uh, the other one here, this is from uh, Paramount. And this is the um, Top Gun Maverick. Uh, this is the newest, you know, the second Top Gun film. And I think the first movie was like, so this is like a 30-year gap between it or something like that, I believe. I, I don't know. I always think it's really cool when like the sequel is so many years later. There's like something about that that I always really like. And this is basically, though, about Tom Cruise's character coming back. And now he's basically the where he was teaching, before, you know, where he was a student of before. Now, he, you know, he's been in the, you know, basically part of what he's been in for years with the flying, the planes and everything. And now he's going back to teach these kids but he's never been a teacher before in this level so it's kind of like this whole thing and the one kid there is you know Val Kilmer's character's son 
it's kind of like then there was they, they had some kind of rivalries and stuff too it's like it's hard to explain because i never i was never super super familiar with the original film for some reason but this one has on here though over 80 minutes of bonus features it has on here uh, go deeper into the uh, making of top gun maverick including real life stunts pilot training and more uh, on this one here but like and this one though just keep in mind too it only has the 4k version of the movie and then the um, digital copy the other one here is from kino larber and this is a movie i always really like so i'm so really glad to have the 4k version of this movie and has the 4k and the blu-ray this is the um the movie escape from alcatraz i always love like these prison movies like pr prison escape movies for some reason have always been like my favorite movies like i don't know what it is about them and this one was so good good about basically you know um Clint Eastwood's character trying to escape from the uh, Alcatraz prison. And if you guys know, like, that prison was, like, inescapable because there was, like, sharks in the water out of it. And there's all sorts of problems with it. So it's kind of, like, the whole thing that he goes through trying to escape. It's really, really well done. It's one of those ones, too. It's from 1979. I feel like you don't hear about it as much as you should. I don't know why. Uh, the other one here, this is from um, MovieZing.com. I'll have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best price. And this is the complete series here of Charmed. Now, this is the reboot series of the show. This ran for... Um, for four different seasons, uh, four seasons here. I think, I believe it was on the CW. I saw a couple episodes of this one. The one actress in here was from the um, Daphne and Velma, like the Scooby-Doo movie they did a couple years back. Here's a look, though, at the um, the discs for this one here. Now, on here, too, I don't know if it does have feature-wise. So, yeah, on the, um, the final season, it has deleted scene as well as a gag reel on that one. And then on uh, season three, it has a gag reel as well. And then I don't think there's any features on the other two seasons here. But really glad to have the whole series of this show, you know, available on uh, Blu-ray here. Like I said, these are all available from um, uh, MovieZing.com. I'll have a link below where you guys can order that, that set. The other one here you guys can get from MovieZing.com, and it's also from Universal, is a new true crime series, uh, you know, based on true events, which is like a true crime series, kind of like the act, one of those type of ones. And this is one here called uh, The Thing About Pam, which stars Renee Zellweger on this one. I feel like, too, when it comes to Renee Zellweger, like, doing tv series wise and stuff like that i don't think she's done a lot of other tv i might be wrong about that i might be totally totally wrong but i don't think so uh, the other one here is one i want to let you guys know is available and this is from a uh, second sight films it's a movie here called a banquet and this is in the hardbound uh, case this is the um, limited edition uh that's in, in the rigid slip case on here which has a soft cover book on here so i'll show you guys though a look at the book in here so here's a look at the booklet uh, for the movie it has stuff about the production some behind the scenes pictures stuff about the film all that kind of stuff as well here and then also there there is some lobby cards as well with this one so i always think that's really cool like they're like um like still lobby cards from the movie and stuff like that here uh, as well. And on this one, uh, feature-wise, let me just go through what's on this one. Uh, this one has on here a... Um, Deformity of, of the Flesh, an interview on here with the director. It has on here an interview with uh, actress, um, you know, with actor Jessica Alexander. Uh, it has on here an interview with, here with producer of the film. It has a making of featurette on the movie as well as also has a Q&A uh, from the Glasgow Film Festival as well. And the next ones I got here are all from MVD. This one's also from Full Moon. Um, and this is the, I believe this is the first 4K that they put out. And this is a movie that I always really like, you know, the character of Jack Death. And they're very fun movies. I actually really like all these ones. And they, they're first, you know, um, the, kind of, I believe they were the first movies that Helen Hunt was ever in. And this is a transfers here on 4K and includes the 4K and a Blu-ray of the movie. It looks great here on 4K. Has on here, though, feature-wise, a Conte on here with Charles Band and Tim Thomerson. Has the complete short film, Transfer City of the Los Angeles. Angels uh, has a video essay on here, the making of Transfers documentary, official trailer, archival interviews, and a still gallery on this one here uh, as well. The other ones here, these are both from... Um these were from uh, Scorpion Releasing. There's two different ones here. And this is like, I, there, there might have been a fourth movie in this series as well. And this is A Curse a 3, The um, Blood Sacrifice. And this one stars Christopher Lee. And these, it's so funny when I, th when I think of like uh, the curse movies. These are one of those ones that I always remember so well because I always remember seeing these ones in Blockbuster back in the day. Like the VHS tapes of these ones. There's certain like VHS tapes I remember seeing so well. Like these movies, the movie Ben. Uh, Willard. There are just certain ones that always really stood out. And they, I remember these ones I always picked up and was always curious about. because like they kind of creep me out and stuff like that. But like I said, one of the guys on this one was available. And then the other one that's from, um, you know, from Scorpion Releasing as well is one here called The Peace Killers. And this one has on here, though, a commentary track on here uh, with the director and screenwriter on this one. It also has an on-camera interview on here as well with some of the people involved with the production. 
And then the other ones here from um, MVD, this is one, this is the sequel. What was the, what the, the original movie called? I forgot the original name, but this is the sequel. I think it was Devil's Revenge. I think it was Devil's Revenge, maybe. This one's called Damon's uh, Revenge. The, the original one, though, the first movie had... Um, who was in that one? My, Michael Madsen was in that one. You see Michael Madsen, like, archival footage of him here in here quickly. Like I said, this one is called Damon's Revenge. And this has Tom Sizemore in here. Uh, Robert Lissardo is in the movie as well. A lot of people that I've worked with in the past on stuff. I always I always love working with Tom, though. Uh, Tom was, you know, in Mistletoe Massacre. And, um, you know, the first movie that I did. And then, of course, he was also in Woods Witch. So he's always great to work with. I always absolutely love working with Tom. But basically, though, the movie is um, kind of a, kind of like the, the sequel to it and the character character of Damon who was like this wearing this mask was killing people in the first movie is now back and it's kind of like is the is the guy back again and what's going on it's kind of like the investigation and everything going on with it it's a kind of a fun movie here like I said I always love watching Sizemore and stuff uh the other uh one here is from MVD as well and this is one called Christmas Cru Cruelty and it's also from Unearthed Films I remember it's like hearing about this one years back and it's like a crazy uh killer Christmas movie a uh, killer Santa Claus Christmas movie from Norway I think it's is it from Norway I believe I might be wrong about that but it has on here a lot of different features. It has a commentary track on here. It has on here a featurette, bloopers, photo gallery, music video on here, a press conference a featurette on here, interviews on here, some short films. And the last one on here, this is from um, SR Cinema. And this is a movie here called Amityville Thanksgiving. This is directed by Will Colazzo, who I, uh, you know, co-directed uh, Amityville Shark House with. This one also uh, is one that you can see me in this one uh, as well. In like a quick scene in this movie, I, we actually shot the the scene for it. You know when I was shooting Amityville Bigfoot. So like basically, uh, they, they, during the exact same time, I think it was like the last day, we filmed like a couple extra stuff. So but that this was like the one extra thing that we did was for uh, Amityville Thanksgiving. Is like me, you know, with my character's um, significant other, and we're kind of like talking about our marriage problems and stuff like that. This is basically though about like people all going to like a marriage kind of you know where they have like marriage problems and they're going to like the marriage counselor talking about the issues and it's kind of about what ends up happening with the crazy you know marriage guy it's it's a really it's a fun movie though uh, on here though it has a commentary track and has an interview on here with the star of the film on this one as well as trailers for other releases it's cool too it starts off on here with the trailer for uh, Amityville Karen uh, which I you know uh, directed on that one but anyway guys that's all for the review portion of this video and like I always say if you guys enjoy these videos I uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up thanks again for watching and subscribing I'll see you guys later. Bye.